A Fort Wayne woman was one of only 50 people from the public allowed to sit in on Casey Anthony's sentencing in Orlando. Her trip down to Florida was paid for by a media outlet after she won a contest. Now she's back home in Indiana, and she sat down with News Channel 15's Megan Royce today to share her story of what she witnessed and what she experienced. Ashley Cheney witnessing the action both inside and outside of the courtroom in Orlando was surreal. Wow, I actually stood in that specific spot on the grounds of the courthouse or sat in that specific seat in the courtroom and got interviewed in front of the Anthony home. Cheney was one of 50 people from the public who got to sit in on Casey Anthony's sentencing, but the process to get there wasn't easy. She had to stand in line for hours one day prior and give out personal information to police. The ticket wouldn't be given out until the following day. Um, as you lined up at 7.30 to go into court for at 8:30 on the day of Casey's sentencing, Cheney was seated three seats away from Casey's parents, George and Cindy. My mouth kind of dropped, like I've seen them, you know, on TV so many times, and then to actually see them in person was just something crazy for me to witness. Cheney could even hear conversations between George, Cindy, and their family attorney. She overheard them talking about whether Casey's brother Lee would show up or not. George and Cindy didn't even know if he was coming, but the attorney. You know, had to be the one to make the phone call. But Cheney says everyone else in the courtroom was talking about how Casey came dressed to court for her sentencing. She came in the courtroom dressed to impress, um, that she looked like she was ready to get out and, and go hit the nightclub. While Cheney was in Orlando, she also stopped by Kaylee's memorial site near the Anthony's home. It was very quiet at the memorial site. Um, not a whole lot of talking at all. Being at the memorial site made me just want to come home and grab my little girl. Cheney says what she experienced in Orlando will be something she carries with her for the rest of her life. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Megan Royce, News Channel 15. Cheney also says while she was in Orlando, she overheard people saying Casey Anthony may have to pay the state of Florida for all the searches and resources it used looking for Kaylee. The last estimate Cheney heard was $900,000.